Hello again. I'm going to do a quick demo here, or maybe not so quick, depending, uh, of uh, how to remove objects from a photo. Now this can get really complicated or it can be very simple depending on the object and what's behind it. What's behind it is usually the stickler. So I am going to just zoom in on this and I'm going to start with a blank layer and then I'm going to select my spot healing brush by typing the letter J and I'm going to try and see if content aware will do a good job kind of getting rid of this object. Uh, mediocre. It uh, cloned some grass in here which is kind of weird so I'm gonna say no to that and this is gonna require me to use the stamp tool, the clone and stamp tool by typing the letter S as in Sam. And so now I have the cloning tool. So now basically anywhere that this circle is hovering over, when I hold down the Alt or Option key, it turns into this little symbol. And when I click, it will copy whatever's there. So if I want to copy that and uh, for whatever reason, paste it down here, <laughs> it will copy wherever I was and you'll notice the little cursor bouncing around is what is being copied. So if I drag it up here, it's going to copy close to the tree. If I drag it over here, it's the other tree. So this is clearly a horrific mistake. So we don't want to do that. So what I do want to do is I want to come in here with something that's complicated like this and I want to make sure that these shadow lines continue as they normally would because you can see right here that I've got a line going right here and it goes behind this and then it ends up right here. So if I don't continue that shadow things are going to look weird. So I'm going to make this a little bit small and this is going to take a lot of copying and pasting. You can't just do this once and be done with it. So I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and I'm going to click right here and I'm going to copy a little bit. Not a lot, I'm not going to go crazy. You can see when I start getting close it's copying the back of the sign again which I don't want. Alright, so I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key again and now I'm going to copy that part. I'm going to bring it up in here and I'm going to do it again, Alt or Option and I'm going to bring it in here and I'm just bouncing around. So this line, again, I want it to continue. So I'm going to come on this side and I'm going to copy that and paste it. And it's okay if I bring it down. Let's see if I could just, if I continue, it works. Let's stick with that. And I'm going to hold down this and I'm going to copy that right there. Okay. So you can see that I have done a fairly decent job, but I have also created uh, some repeating patterns here. So this object right here is exactly like this one. So I'm going to option and I'm going to paste that. So that basically just kind of masks it out. I might make my brush a little bit harder because I'm getting some soft lines going on in here. And so I can hold down the Alter Option and get rid of that little repeat. Just want to make sure that you don't have these repeating patterns because that is clue number one that you have done some heavy duty uh, cloning. So that is how I would go about kind of maintaining a line and you can just keep going here. So I'm going to hold down the Option key and I'm going to clone a little bit more. And there I go, I'm getting that repeating pattern again. Oop, and see, I just copied that blade of grass. But again, these things can be dealt with. All right, so I've cloned, but I've also cloned a repeat so I can switch back to the spot healing brush and make it really small and see if I can't just get rid of that right there. See, there you go. So flipping between, so now I'm using the content aware tool and I'm just trying to deal with some of these repeating patterns. So all I have to do is just click on that and these will go away. Okay, so that's how you kind of avoid the repeating pattern. And I can see I've got it right here too. Get rid of that. 
but continue the line and make it look realistic. So for something where I'm crossing over the grass right here, it's it's complicated. Um, you know, so I'm actually going to clone the grass itself and try and maintain that line right up in here where the grasses look normal. So when you get complicated objects like this, this can get difficult. Now I'm not going to be able to clone this and put it right here. So what I'm going to do is I might clone something right here because this is in shadow and this is in shadow and it might, it might be okay. It might look normal. So let's try this. And I'm going to roll that, that kind of, nope, didn't work. <laughs> so it's worth a try. So I'm going to clone that. I'm going to come through here. So this, this can take a while. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. If you want to, if your image is worth it and you really truly want to get rid of something, uh, that one did not work. So I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm just undoing. Uh, so I'm going to try this, this one right here was a little bit, uh, too bright. So I'm going to clone over here and see if that one works. Okay, so let's take a look at the before and after of that. So there is before and there is after. Not the best cloning job that I've ever done, but it definitely works. So I just wanted you to understand the importance of maintaining these continuation of, of lines behind whatever subject it is that you're trying to get rid of. And one more uh, trick that you can use with the cloning tool is something that I do when I have just a little area of, uh, of blown out highlights that, you know, say I was just not paying attention to what I was doing and I overexposed a certain area, like say the grass right here, right in here. So you can use the clone tool, but not at 100%. So if I use, let's do the stamp tool, and say, okay, well, I want it to be darker. So I'm going to clone that and I'm just going to paste it right here. It looks completely fake and unreal. So that's not what I want to do. You can lower the opacity. If we come up here and we lower the opacity, this is the opacity of the brush itself. So if I lower it to maybe 20%, it's only going to clone 20% of what is right here. So if I start pasting, you can see how it's, it's darkening it but just a little bit. It's not that bad. Nice soft edge on that. So we'll bring the hardness down to zero and we can do something like that. You know, would I do that on an image like this? You know, maybe, maybe not. I, I probably would do this if I had something in my background that had a, a bright spot on it that I just wanted to dim down a little bit. Just something that I wanted to take the attention away from because your eye is going to typically be drawn to the brightest part of the photo or the area with mo with the most contrast. So when you are doing this type of cloning, keep that in mind. So let's do this. Let's turn that off and back on. And you can see how I just kind of toned down this little area right in here. Keep an eye on that area and that's off and on. It just tones it down, something you wouldn't even really necessarily notice. And then of course I got rid of the keep off the grass and I was still able to maintain my overall composition. All right, I hope this helps with your uh, cloning practice in the future. Again, it does take practice, so do it over and over and over again, and eventually you'll get comfortable with it. Good luck.